He slowly opened his eyes, his pupils turning purple. Let's call this mystical power the Dark Nightmare, Han Zhu muttered to himself. He wanted to use this mystical power to become the nightmare of his enemies. As long as the Great Tao existed, Han Zhu could use the Dark Nightmare to send dreams. At the same time, he could prevent the other party from deducing him and not be affected by karma. If the other party's cultivation level was far inferior to his, he could even kill enemies in the dream realm. This mystical power was the genuine Great Tao mystical power. As expected of a mystical power that was comprehended from the fusion of nine Great Tao fragments. Being cautious, Hanju asked in his heart, will the sages notice me using the dark nightmare? A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Why did asking about a mystical power also require lifespan? Hanju cursed silently. He couldn't figure out the deduction pattern of the derivation function. Forget it, it's only been a billion years. Hanju chose to continue. The heavenly Tao sage can't deduce it, but if you visit the dream of the great Tao sage, they can deduce it. If you visit the dream of living beings below the sage, no sage can deduce it. <gasps> there were even great Tao sages? Could it be the transcendent Tao experts like ancestor Shi Tian? Or the Tao ancestor? Hanju didn't understand, but it was fine. He didn't plan to visit the sages, anyway. What was there to be afraid of? He couldn't be bothered to ask who the great Tao sages were. Although his lifespan was long, he couldn't act recklessly. He had to use it on killing enemies. Hanju took a look at his lifespan and discovered that it took him five years to comprehend the great Tao mystical power. He calmed down and began to think about who to test the waters with. Oh, right! The Jia school had entered the Nine Nether Purgatory. He could ask Jing Tian Gong. After resting for a while, Han Zhu started to use the Dark Nightmare. Jing Tian Gong's appearance appeared in his mind, confirming that he was dreaming. Inside the Daoist temple, Jing Tian Gong was meditating and cultivating. Unknowingly, his consciousness began to wander. He suddenly woke up and discovered that he had arrived at the top of a mountain. There were green mountains and rivers around him, and a cool breeze blew past. Jing Tian Gong was surprised. What was this place? He subconsciously turned around and suddenly saw a black shadow, scaring him so much that he jumped into the sky. The black shadow was covered in black mist. One could only see its figure and a pair of purple eyes. It was strange and terrifying. Jing Tian Gong asked in a low voice, Who are? You? The black shadow said calmly, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. This is just a dream. Han Zhu especially changed his voice. It was different from his own voice. Dream? Jing Tian Gong was shocked. What cultivation level was he at? How could he be dreaming? It must be the other party's mystical power. He forcefully pulled him into a dream. Jing Tian Gong has developed hatred towards you. Current hatred points, pure stars. Han Zhu didn't care and continued staring at him. Jing Tian Gong wanted to attack, but he was horrified to find that he could not use his dermic powers. In the Dark Nightmare, unless his cultivation level surpassed Han Zhu's, he would be suppressed by this Great Tao mystical power and be unable to attack. This was the power of the Great Tao mystical power. Jing Tian Gong tried his best to calm down. He discovered that the other party had no intention of attacking as if he wanted to talk to him. Wait! Could he be? Jing Tian Gong's eyes widened and his body began to tremble. The other party was pitch black and extremely mysterious. Who else could it be but the Dark Forbidden Lord? He asked carefully, Are you the Dark? Han Zhu interrupted him and said, What do you want? He had to conquer the hearts of the people first. Jing Tian Gong landed in front of him and knelt down. He said in a low voice, I'm willing to serve the Dark Forbidden Lord. I'll offer you my life. Jing Tian Gong has a favorable impression of you. Current favorability, four stars. <gasps> Five stars straight away? What happened? He carefully sized him up. 
His eyes were so fanatic that he almost seemed a little crazy. Hanju asked, What's the Jie school plotting? Jing Tiangong replied without hesitation, We just want to avoid the calamity, but I personally want to join you as a subordinate. In the current immortal world, other than the sages, you are the one who I admire the most. You stir up trouble in the dark and create chaos with a flip of your hand. The four overlords suffered three losses because of you. Such ability is stronger than the previous master of calamity. Hanju asked, how's your relationship with the heavenly court? Jing Tiangong asked hesitantly, I wonder if you. The heavenly court has the providence of the heavenly Tao. I don't want to provoke them for the time being, but sooner or later, I will attack them, Hanju said domineeringly. Jing Tiangong was secretly excited. As expected, he had always suspected that the Dark Forbidden Lord was not from the Heavenly Court. They were so weak. The cooperation between the Jie School and the Heavenly Court is just for the sake of our own needs. We helped the Heavenly Court, and the Heavenly Emperor released the soul of the Jie School experts that were suppressed in the Divine Investiture Board. Now that we're even, we will no longer help the Heavenly Court, Jing Tiangong replied seriously. Hanju decided to test him. You've imitated me. You also have a cursed treasure. If you're me, who would you curse now? Jing Tiangong fell into deep thought. After a long while, he looked up and said, The Netherworld. Ever since Su Tu died, the countless vengeful spirits that filled the immortal world have all hidden in the Netherworld. They're being controlled by the King of Hell and the Disciples of the Divine Palace. This power is too strong. If we don't balance it out, when the Immortal Heavenly Court and the Demon Heavenly Court are both weakened, it will definitely sweep through the myriad worlds. Alright, I'll leave this mission to you. From now on, you're my follower. Are you willing? Hearing this, Jing Tiangong was first stunned, then he immediately rejoiced. He hurriedly agreed. Hanju didn't ask anymore and ended the mystical power. Jing Tiangong was stunned for a moment before he suddenly woke up. Discovering that he had returned to reality, he heaved a sigh of relief. He revealed a respectful expression and muttered, as expected of the Dark Forbidden Lord. His mystical power is impressive. Then, he became excited. Indeed, sincerity worked. From now on, he would join the Dark Forbidden Lord's camp. As long as he worked hard, he believed that the Dark Forbidden Lord would not mistreat him and promote the Jie School. Due to the failure of the Calamity, the Jie School had already lost its great providence. Jing Tiangong had to find a backing for them to break through. The Dark Forbidden Lord was the most suitable candidate. Because the Dark Forbidden Lord was fearless, he wasn't afraid of anyone. Inside the Khanate Cave abode, Hanju sighed. I didn't expect the Dark Forbidden Lord to have so many fans. He had never gone out. Why were there so many believers? It was probably because someone had ulterior motives and placed all sorts of blame on the Dark Forbidden Lord, causing him to become stronger and stronger in the rumors. With Dark Nightmare, Hanju felt that he could properly use his Dark Forbidden Lord identity. It was a very famous and impressive name. Most people who attained the Tao would give up their original name and choose their Tao title. Hanju felt that the Dark Forbidden Lord was not bad. It was better than reincarnation he had thought of earlier. When he became stronger, it was not impossible for him to truly take on the name of Dark Forbidden Lord. Hanju thought for a moment. He probably had to become a sage. Otherwise, he would easily become a sage's pawn. Even the strongest of the calamities like Zhu Tu was a pawn of the sage, let alone him. If he admitted that he was the Dark Forbidden Master now, or when he was at the Zenith Heaven Realm or the Pseudo Sage Realm, it would be difficult for him to escape. He would die. Han Ju perked up and started cultivating. Using the Dark Nightmare only consumed his divine origin dermic powers and divine sense. Hanju didn't fight in the dream, so he was still in good condition and could cultivate directly. The Great Tao mystical power was only a mystical power. Cultivation was the foundation. 
For example, Kong Xian of the Investiture of the Gods. His five colored divine lights could sweep anything and everything. It was extremely powerful. Even sages had lost face because of him. But so what? He lost in the end. Han Ju's goal was to reach the zenith heaven realm before this calamity ended. This was the lowest goal. The next calamity he would be at least a pseudo-sage before it. He would try his best to become a sage. Then, the next calamity would be his era. If he couldn't become a sage, he would wait for the next one. Han Ju had a long lifespan, so he had plenty of time to waste. Ten years later, Han Ju took out the Book of Misfortune and cursed the enemy while checking his emails. Your good friend Ji Xianshan has obtained a heavenly Dao fiendish supreme treasure. His providence has increased greatly. Your grand disciple Fang Liang was attacked by a demon immortal emperor, X3. Your Dao companion Xian Qing Jun received guidance from a mighty figure in her dreams. Her cultivation has increased greatly. Your good friend Jing Tian Gong cursed the netherworld and his negative karma increased greatly. Your good friend Divine General has received guidance from the sage and has learned a heavenly Dao mystical power. Your disciple Wang Hao was attacked by your good friendly Dao Kong and was severely injured. Fortunately, a mysterious mighty figure saved him. Your good friendly Dao Kong was attacked by a mysterious mighty figure. Your good friend Tai Su Tian was attacked by your Dao companion Xing Hong Xian. TSK TSK Heavenly Dao Fiendish Supreme Treasure Ji Xian Shi was going to soar. Han Ju knew best how strong the Heavenly Dao Supreme Treasure was. The word fiendish was probably not bad, either. If this fellow survived the calamity, would he become the next Heavenly Emperor, Demon Emperor, or Zhu Tu? Han Ju noticed that Xian Qin Jun had obtained the guidance of a mighty figure in her dream. There was definitely a conspiracy. He had to check it. Jing Tian Gong also really followed Han Ju's orders. Tai Su Tian is starting to approach Xing Hong Xian. Han Ju cursed while he worried. Killing Tai Su Tian directly would definitely offend Niu Hua. Tai Su Tian's target was Han Ju. It was impossible for Niu Hua not to suspect him. No! He had to remind Xing Hong Xian. Han Ju asked in his heart, I want to know why Tai Su Tian approached her. A billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Han Ju felt dizzy. He opened his eyes again and came to a vast hall. The light was bright as Tai Su Tian knelt in front of a statue. The statue was of a woman with a gentle face and a benevolent aura. This child is a variable. I hope that you can descend into the mortal world and wash away your karma. You can approach him and obtain his trust. The statue emitted a gentle voice. Sage, new law. Tai Su Tian asked curiously, why do you want to approach him? What's your goal? Niwa replied, he might be the key for the humans and demons to resolve their hatred. The heavenly Tao leaves a path for a chance of survival. This chance might be him. Establish a good relationship with him so that I can interact with him in the future. Are you sure? I'm not sure. Recently, there have been more and more variables in the heavenly Tao. I can only choose one to bet. This child is cautious by nature and never takes the initiative to provoke trouble. His karma is very small. With his talent, he should have walked the path of a prodigy, but he didn't. This makes me think of the Tao Ancestor. Tao Ancestor? He's related to the Tao Ancestor? Of course not. I just feel that he might embark on the Tao Ancestor's path. Of course, it's just a possibility. Tai Su Tian fell into deep thought. The scene shattered. Han Ju fell silent and the Book of Misfortune also stopped. <sighs> what happened? Niu Wa had asked Tai Su Tian to approach him for good intentions. Then, why did she want to harm Xing Hong Xian? Han Ju felt that he had to investigate thoroughly. He could kill enemies ruthlessly, but he couldn't turn goodwill into hatred. There might be another conspiracy. I want to know why Tai Su Tian killed Xing Hong Xian. Han Ju continued to use the derivation function. Deduction failed. 
She doesn't have any killing intent. Hanju was stunned. No killing intent? Could it be that the future had changed again? Hanju could only change the topic and ask, I want to know who taught Shen Qing Jun in her dreams. 500 million years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. A beautiful figure appeared in Hanju's mind, and a line of words appeared. Empress Hutu, cultivation unknown, lord of reincarnation. So it was Empress Hutu. Was this good intention towards Hanju, or does she have other plans? Hanju continued to ask, does she have any ill intentions towards Xin Qing Jun? No malice. This time, his lifespan was not deducted. It seemed that if there were two problems, his lifespan would not be deducted. Hanju was relieved and cursed the enemy again. The calamity was really becoming more and more terrifying, causing Hanju to be traumatized, afraid that the people around him would suffer. Hanju thought of using Dark Nightmare to call Xing Hongxian and Xian Qingjun back, but by doing so, the two girls would learn that he had such a mystical power and it would plant the seed that might expose his identity. It was too dangerous, he couldn't take the risk. Another 20 years passed. Hanju had just finished cursing the enemy when he suddenly felt a few auras. Another force came to the Nine Nether Purgatory. Hanju was speechless. He immediately checked the surrounding enemies. Although the Dao field had been upgraded, the detection range could not cover the entire Nine Nether Purgatory. The new force was very far from the Dao field, and Hanju couldn't detect it. So be it. Just don't disturb me. Hanju thought of this. Recently, the Jia school did not dare to move around. They might have encountered the primordial Yuan Phoenix or could not withstand the long erosion of negative karma. Hanju asked in his heart, who is it? 10 million years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Divine Palace. It was them. Hanju raised his eyebrows, feeling uneasy. The reason why the Divine Palace was defeated was mainly that he cursed Su Tu. Although no one knew that it was him, he still felt uneasy. Furthermore, Moronchi had an irreconcilable grudge against the Divine Palace. No, he had to stay away from them. Hanju controlled Hidden Sept Island and rushed deeper. An hour later, he finally stopped. After warning the people of the Hidden Sect, he continued cultivating. The Hidden Sect competition, which happened once every hundred years, began again. Without Hanju participating, Diamond Rage occupied first place. Jiang Yi fought with the Black Hell Demon Lord and obtained a difficult victory. He was extremely proud. The Black Hell Demon Lord and Duan Hongchun were third and fourth. They were both very unhappy. The fifth was Liao, and the sixth was not Morong Qi or Chu Ling'er, but Chu Shiren. The Supreme Buddha had started to rise. The others also looked at him. Chu Shiren said calmly, I'm only sparring with you using my cultivation in this life. I'm indeed inferior. The chaotic heavenly dog couldn't help but ask, that means you can still use your cultivation from your previous life? Chu Shuren hesitated for a moment before nodding slowly. Chu Shuren sensed everyone's gaze and said helplessly, however, I'm already reincarnated. I can't completely use my previous life's cultivation. I have to cultivate from the start again. Otherwise, if I use my previous life's cultivation too many times, my soul won't be able to withstand it. I see. Everyone was enlightened and felt better. If he didn't have to pay the price for reincarnation, that would be too ridiculous. After knowing that Chu Shuren had the cultivation of his previous life, the attitude of the people from the hidden sect towards him became even more subtle. Hanju also had some fear towards Chu Shuren, but his favorability towards him had reached 5.5 stars, so he would not betray him. Even if Chu Shuren attacked him, it was impossible for him to break through the defense of the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus. With the addition of the Divine Palace, the Nine Nether Purgatory was no longer as silent as before. The Divine Palace and the Jia School often had conflicts. The sound of battle would occasionally reach the hidden sect island. 
Hanju didn't care about all of this and cultivated in peace. Next, he had to break through to the Four Mystic Divine Origin with all his might. After reaching the Four Mystic Divine Origin, he wouldn't be far from the Six Mystic Divine Origin. He would only be a step away from Zenith Heaven. Hanju liked to motivate himself and fill himself with fighting spirit. Time flew. Another 30 years passed. Hanju's cultivation improved greatly, but something that gave him a headache also happened. After the Divine Palace, another force came to the Nine Nether Purgatory. Hanju spent 10 million years asking who it was and learned that it was an ancient race, the Vermilion Bird Race. New SD Rise at NVLBIN. Ko Hanju still missed the Vermilion Bird. He still remembered the pressure when he was frightened by a Vermilion Bird and did not dare to ascend. However, that Vermilion Bird had already perished, and it had even died in the hands of its own clansmen. This grudge could be considered settled. Hanju was most worried about whether the Nine Nether Purgatory would become the next battlefield. When the forces of the Nine Nether Purgatory increased, conflict would naturally erupt. Because the immortal world was filled with negative karma due to the tribulation, it was no different from the Nine Nether Purgatory in the future. Under such circumstances, hiding in the Nine Nether Purgatory was absolutely the best choice for many forces. Looks like I have to find another location. Hanju thought silently. He couldn't go personally. He had to send Lu Bei to find it. Hanju called Lu Bei into the cave abode and explained his intention. Lu Bei frowned. Although he hesitated, he still agreed. He wasn't against Hanju's orders. He just inherited Hanju's personality and was afraid of danger. Because of that, Hanju believed that he could find the best hiding place. Hanju taught Lu Bei the invocation technique. If he was in danger, he would save him. After learning the invocation technique, Lu Bei was relieved and left that day. Hanju started cursing the enemy and checked his emails. Recently, Xing Hong Xian and Xian Qing Jun had been taught by a mighty figure. This made Hanju feel that something was wrong. He thought for a moment and decided to give them a dream, as long as it was not the image of the Dark Forbidden Lord. Not only did his image have to change, but so did the scene. A month later, Hanju first visited Xing Hong Xian in his dreams. The two of them met in the dream. Xing Hong Xian was pleasantly surprised when she saw Hanju. However, she still asked warily, Husband, I have a fortuitous encounter for you. Do you want to try it? Hanju was speechless. He snapped. No! Xing Hong Xian immediately beamed and rushed up to hug Hanju. In Hanju's dream, Xing Hong Xian could clearly feel his body temperature as if it was reality. Are you coming back? I'm afraid that you'll die in the calamity, Hanju said directly. Xing Hong Xian was stunned. I don't think so. I've obtained the providence of the human emperor now, so I can avoid the calamity. How did you obtain it? The humans have gathered. The various sacred dynasties have chosen a prodigy to inherit the inheritance of the past human emperors. I was one of them. The humans are the protagonists of the Heavenly Tao. No matter how the calamity evolves, humans will not die. Husband, don't worry. I won't die. I will also try my best to avoid the calamity. Xing Hong Xian spoke very seriously, implying that she did not want to go back. Han Zhu could also understand. Not everyone could cultivate as diligently as him. Opportunities were also important. Then, you have to be careful. Even if I appear in the future and ask you to die, you can't trust it easily. No matter what, I won't take the initiative to ask you to die, Han Zhu said seriously. Xing Hong Xian understood. Could it be that someone wants to scheme against you? Who can guarantee that there won't be? Han Zhu pretended to be casual. Since Xing Hong Xian was unwilling to leave, so be it. However, she hugged Hanju tightly. Xing Hong Xian smirked. Only you and I can sense this dream, right? Hanju felt that something was wrong. What did this girl want? Xing Hong Xian pressed him to the ground and got to work. 
Hanju's consciousness returned to reality. This dream lasted for a long time, but only half a day passed in reality. Before leaving, Hanju told Xing Hongxian that if she met him next time, she should use the invocation technique first to avoid being deceived by the enemy. It was not cautious enough to just ask. Xing Hongxian agreed after hearing this. At the same time, she also realized how powerful the invocation technique was. She could actually summon her husband. If she had known earlier, Xing Hongxian was filled with regret. If she had known earlier, she could have used it a few times. Next, Hangzhou visited Xian Qingjun's dream. She also rejected him and said that she would be careful. The two of them chatted in the dream for a long time. Xian Qingjun bragged about the darkness sect and the dark forbidden lord. She said that after the calamity ended, she would pave the way for him and invite him to join the sect. Hanju could only reply verbally and was speechless. Did I cuckold myself? Cough! Xian Qingjun only admired the dark forbidden lord. She had not changed her mind. Unlike Xing Hongxian, Xian Qingjun didn't do anything intimate with him. After ending the dream, Hanju continued cultivating. In the eyes of many living beings, the calamity was like the end of the world, but in the eyes of even more living beings, it was a fortuitous encounter. This was especially true for those with mediocre potential. Although Hanju felt regretful about Xing Hongxian and Xian Qingjun's decision, he was not angry. Everyone had their own goals. This was also good. Although it was safe to stay under Hanju, they would be left further and further behind. Hanju wanted to cultivate until his breakthrough, but there were always people disturbing him. For years later, the deity realm existence of the Vermilion Bird Race discovered Hidden Sect Island. He transformed into a human and his body burned with flames. He was like a fire god as he stared at Hidden Sect Island. Why is there a stone in the Nine Nether Purgatory? My divine sense can't see through it. Could there be a restriction inside? Is there a different world? The deity realm Vermilion Bird thought silently. He raised his right hand and waved the flames. The flames landed on Hidden Sect Island and were dispersed by the array formation. He didn't believe it and prepared to continue attacking. Everyone on Hidden Sect Island could see the flames falling from the sky. As the array formation blocked them, they bloomed like fireworks. It was quite beautiful. Is this fellow courting death? The black hell chicken cursed. For some reason, it felt like it had seen the aura outside somewhere before. The deity realm vermilion bird was shocked. Who are you? Why are you hiding here? With that, he took out a flaming spear and prepared to continue attacking. Hanju was speechless. Was this fellow a fool? He couldn't even break through the Dao Fields formation yet he still dared to continue attacking? How did he cultivate to the deity realm? Since he was digging his own grave, Hanju would not be polite. He immediately jumped out of the Tao field. The primordial judgment sword appeared in his hand and he slashed with it. Unparalleled sword chi. Terrifying sword chi erupted and swept towards the deity realm vermilion bird from all directions. The deity realm Vermilion Bird was not frightened when he saw Hanju appear. Instead, he waved his flaming spear. Divine origin dermic powers dissipated and formed a huge protective shield to resist the sword chi. Oh! The deity realm Vermilion Bird's body was directly annihilated. He was only a second mystic divine origin. How could he withstand the attack of Hanju's three mystic divine origin? He could fight evenly with the six mystic divine origin realm. Hanju used the five elements divine light and directly swept away the other party's soul, putting it into the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus. He then jumped back into the Khanate cave abode. In the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus, the deity realm Vermilion Bird had just condensed its body when endless negative karma drowned it. Negative karma. How is this possible? The deity realm Vermilion Bird was shocked and hurriedly resisted the negative karma. Unfortunately, it was useless. 
He wanted to jump out of the 36th grade reincarnation world destruction Black Lotus, but he was suppressed by Hanju's great dermic powers. No! Red Flame Vermilion Bird has developed hatred towards you. Current hatred points, stars. Hanju shook his head and laughed when he saw the line of words. This was really a death wish. Hanju controlled the hidden sept island and moved it away to prevent the Vermilion Bird race from discovering them. If they really came, it would be troublesome. However, Hanju believed that no one in the Vermilion Bird race could enter his Dao field. Under the Fusong tree, the Black Hell Chicken asked curiously, that fellow was killed by Master? How fast? Diamond Rage laughed. Of course. How powerful is Sept Master? Although that Vermilion Bird was strong, it was only a Vermilion Bird. Murongchi nodded. The Vermilion Bird race doesn't have Zenith Heaven existences. Unknowingly, they had tacitly agreed that Hanju was at least at the Zenith Heaven realm. If not, how could he create all of this? Jiang Yi smiled disdainfully. The Vermilion Bird race is getting worse with each generation. They're far inferior to our Golden Crow Divine Clan. Our Golden Crows feed on dragons. Divine beasts are our food. The Black Hell Demon Lord shook his head in disagreement. Race is actually a restriction. The Heavenly Emperor never calls himself a true dragon. The Demon Emperor also doesn't consider himself a member of the demon race. Bloodline relationships are sometimes a threat and a weakness, Chu Shuren suddenly said. His words made Jiang Yi and the Black Hell Demon Lord fall into deep thought. The three-headed WYRM King chuckled. That's right, that's right. The WYRM race has nothing to do with me. I call myself a member of the hidden sect. The others also followed him in expressing their loyalty, hoping that Hanju would hear it. At this moment, Hanju suddenly walked out of the cave abode. The moment they saw him, the others shut up and stood up. Unknowingly, Hanju had already established a strong prestige. Everyone didn't dare to joke anymore. Hanju waved his right hand and threw a huge corpse on the mountain. Black Hell Chicken, Ada, Xiao Er, Heavenly Dog, Three-Headed WYRM, Go and Eat, Hanju instructed. With that, the five of them rushed out. The Black Hell Demon Lord and the other six Black Hell Phoenixes were envious, but they didn't dare to speak. Jiang Yi swallowed and said, Can I also? No! Hanju did not allow arguments. Everything depended on the order of seniority. Hanju wouldn't give up on the ones who followed him the earliest. Although Jiang Yi was strong, he had yet to make any contributions. Under such circumstances, if Hanju kept giving him benefits, the others would definitely be dissatisfied. Jiang Yi curled his lips. If he couldn't, so be it. Why was he so fierce? Considering that he couldn't defeat Hanju, he could only tolerate it. The five mythical beasts all transformed into their true forms and started eating the vermilion bird's corpse. If not for the fact that Hanju's dermic powers were still in the vermilion bird's body, the five of them would not have been able to tear it apart. Even if the deity realm expert was dead, its body was still extremely terrifying. Hanju watched them eat. The scene was cruel and shocking. Li Yao and Dao Comprehension Sword frowned. The 10,000 nether race members also trembled in fear. Jiang Yi came to Hanju's side and said, If anyone from the Golden Crow Divine Clan comes to find trouble with you, you can tell them my name first. Don't kill them directly. He discovered that Hanju was really ruthless. He killed the enemy just like that. Of course, he was also such a person. However, he didn't want to see the Golden Crows become food for the five of them. Hanju smiled and said, of course. After all, that's also the race of Ada and Xiao Er. Jiang Yi heaved a sigh of relief. Hanju waved at Xu Shiran. He hurriedly came over and bowed. If the Buddhist sect also hides in the Nine Nether Purgatory, will you leave? Hanju asked. Chu Shuren said without hesitation, No! I'm not part of the Buddhist sect, to begin with. Actually, the five great Buddhas had their own roots in the past. 
they were all suppressed by the Buddhist sect and have cultivated for countless years. After the older generation of Buddhas went into seclusion, they became the new Buddha ancestors. Hanju asked curiously, in other words, the Buddhist sect also has sages? Of course, and more than one. However, after they became sages, they no longer cared about the Buddhist sect. A long time ago, two Buddhist sages interfered with the calamity and were suppressed by the Tao ancestor. From then on, the sages had nothing to do with the heavenly Tao immortal world and could not cross the line. Chu Shuren's answer made Hanju secretly nervous. He had to be careful when facing the Buddhist sect in the future, lest he fail miserably. Several days later, the huge vermilion bird's corpse was completely eaten. The black hell chicken and the others were also stuffed. They all circulated their energy to digest it. Their auras increased at an extremely obvious speed. During the primordial era, before the Tao ancestor taught the Tao, all living beings devoured each other to become stronger. Therefore, it was also called the era of ferocious beasts. After digesting, come into my cave abode. Hanju sent a voice transmission to the chaotic heavenly dog. Upon hearing that, the dog was pleasantly surprised. It knew that its master was finally going to nurture it. Five years later, the chaotic heavenly dog carefully walked into his cave abode. Hanju said, your eyes were dug out previously. Although your providence has recovered, it can't increase. I can reward you with the heavenly Tao merit to help you recover and even soar higher. However, from now on, you are not allowed to leave Hidden Sect Island unless I want to leave. Are you willing? Hanju spoke very calmly, but his faint killing intent caused the temperature in the cave abode to decrease. The chaotic heavenly dog said excitedly, I'm willing. Thank you, master. From now on, without your orders, I will never go out again. It couldn't stand being at the bottom anymore. On the island, anyone could bully it. In the past, it was also a divine beast with high spirits. This time, Hanju suddenly noticed the chaotic heavenly dog. Ever since its eyes were dug out, the chaotic heavenly dog's temperament had changed drastically. It was silent and lost its sense of existence. Hanju often forgot about it. Therefore, he had a sudden thought. He wanted to use the heavenly Tao merit to help the chaotic heavenly dog. Since it was a divine beast of providence, it was very difficult to escape the heavenly Tao. It was better to use the heavenly Tao merit on it. After the chaotic heavenly dog agreed, Hanju pressed down on its head and sent the heavenly Tao merit into its body. The merit obtained from giving the nether race a name was extremely huge. Hanju had also given the immeasurable sword a portion, but compared to all of it, it was still insignificant. The chaotic heavenly dog emitted a golden light that drowned it. Hanju used his dermic powers to help it absorb it. Time passed. A year later, the chaotic heavenly dog was still absorbing the heavenly Tao merit, but it no longer needed Hanju's help. Its dermic powers soared to the grand unity true immortal realm and continued to increase. The heavenly Tao merit was too strong. Hanju let it stay in the cave abode to absorb it in case anything happened. He continued cultivating. The effect of the heavenly Tao merit is so strong. It's too fatal. The price must be high. This is the lure of the heavenly Tao. Hanju thought of this and shook his head with a smile. The chaotic heavenly dog was not him. Even if the heavenly Tao sage was the limit, it was still very impressive. This dog had probably never thought of becoming a sage anyway. Nine Nether Purgatory, Vermilion Bird Race The Vermilion Bird Race gathered in a floating peak. There was a palace in one of the mountains. In the hall, we still haven't found Elder Red Flame. A man in a red robe roared. He was the leader of the Vermilion Bird Race, Vermilion Bird Emperor. A transformed Vermilion Bird carefully replied, I really can't find him. His aura has vanished into thin air and his life token is gone. I'm afraid. I heard that the primordial Yuan Phoenix is suppressed in the Nine Nether Purgatory. Could it be that Elder Red Flame? The Vermilion Bird Emperor trembled in anger. 
the red flame vermilion bird was in existence at the deity realm. The number of deity realm mighty figures in the entire vermilion bird race could be counted on one hand. Every single one of them had consumed an immeasurable amount of resources to die just like that. The vermilion bird emperor's heart bled. However, when he thought of the primordial Yuan Phoenix, he felt helpless. The primordial Yuan Phoenix was the ancestor of all birds. He had once unified all the heavenly Tao flying beasts. Facing such an undying existence, the vermilion bird emperor couldn't help but feel his scalp tingle. Have you interacted with the primordial Yuan Phoenix? The vermilion bird emperor asked. Yes but I sensed his killing intent as soon as I approached. He doesn't want to be disturbed, the transformed vermilion bird was very helpless. Why was the Nine Nether Purgatory still not peaceful? The vermilion bird emperor's expression darkened. What about the Jia school's attitude? The transformed vermilion bird replied, they want to end the conflict. After all, they were originally here to avoid the calamity. They hope to be able to share an area with us and not disturb each other. It's best if we join forces to stop the other factions from entering the Nine Nether Purgatory. The Vermilion Bird Emperor's expression softened. This was a good thing. He was also worried that other powers would rush over. As the forces of the Nine Nether Purgatory increased, the calamity would definitely spread over. Help me contact Jing Tiangong. I want to talk to him personally. Yes! Han Ju didn't know that the Vermilion Bird race thought that the Primordial Yuan Phoenix had killed the Red Flame Vermilion Bird. Even if he knew, he wouldn't care. The current him had the right to look down on a deity realm mighty figure. In the blink of an eye, ten years had passed. The chaotic Heavenly Dog had completely absorbed the Heavenly Dao Merit. Its providence had increased greatly and its cultivation level had soared to the late stage Grand Unity Golden Immortal Realm. It was very excited. Hanju didn't let it leave directly but taught it the five elements divine light. When it left the cave abode, it was high and mighty. Hanju didn't stop it. He gave the disciples a signal to prevent them from slacking off. Indeed! The reborn chaotic heavenly dog shocked everyone. The black hell chicken screamed, feeling that Hanju was unfair. Why didn't he reward it with such a fortuitous encounter? With that, the chaotic heavenly dog was no longer at the bottom. It did not immediately challenge the others. Instead, it first cultivated the five elements divine light. After that, it would challenge them one by one in the simulation trial. It felt proud. On the other side, Hanju took out the Book of Misfortune and started cursing the enemies. All these years, his attention had been placed on the ones around him. He didn't know what the situation in the immortal world was. He opened the emails. Your good friend Ji Xianshan has left the immortal world. Your grand disciple Fang Liang has left the mortal world. Your good friend Huang Jihao was attacked by your good friend Zhang Guxing. Your good friend Zhang Guxing was attacked by a mysterious mighty figure and was severely injured. Your good friend Li Daokong was cursed by a mysterious curse. Because he has a supreme treasure, he is not affected. Your good friend Heavenly Emperor was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your good friend Jing Tiangong was cursed by a mysterious curse. Your disciple Long Hao has stepped into the Heavenly Tao and comprehended the River of Destiny. Your disciple Su Qi's bad luck has reached its limit. He has stepped into the Emperor Realm and his providence has transformed. So many curses. There were fewer emails of people being attacked, but there were more curses. Even Jing Tiangong was cursed. Could he be cursing Xuan Mingyi? The mysterious mighty figure who attacked Zhang Guxing was definitely Li Xianao. This fellow had been coveting the sword Dao River. After Han Zhu left, he naturally wouldn't give up the opportunity. Poor brother, he was beaten again after leaving the Divine Palace. Han Zhu had no intention of helping him. Now, his relationship with Zhang Guxing was no longer as close as before. Ever since Han Zhu rejected Zhang Guxing's opportunity, he clearly felt that Zhang Guxing was not that passionate towards him anymore, but his favorability didn't decrease. It was fine as long as Zhang Guxing did not die. 
Hanju continued reading the emails. He checked his interpersonal relationships again and discovered that his friend's cultivation levels had all increased by a huge amount. It was truly ridiculous. A month later, after Hanju cursed all the enemies, he started to hesitate. Should I calculate the outcome of the calamity? Hanju thought silently. He hadn't calculated it for a long time. In the past few years, the immortal world seemed to have entered a period of explosive development. More and more factions appeared. He needed to know who might be his enemy. At this moment, a line of words suddenly appeared in front of Hanju. Dijun wants to enter your dream. Do you accept? Daijun? Hanju showed a frown. Although Dijun had a favorable impression of him, it was too low and not worth the risk. Hanju didn't reject or accept it. Instead, he waited for the notification to disappear. In that case, Dijun might think that he was tied down by something and could not accept the dream. Several days later, Dijun was here again. Since Dijun couldn't spy on the Dao field, he might as well pretend not to know. Even if Dijun didn't want to harm him, he would still cause trouble. After that, every five or six days, Dijun would ask to visit him in his dreams. Hanju didn't reply. This situation lasted for two years. Dijun had asked to visit him in his dreams hundreds of times.